that you bless each and every one that's in the house. We ask you to bless our children, Lord, our children, children, oh God. Have mercy upon us, Lord, because we need you, Lord, in such a time like this. When there's trouble all over the world, Lord, we realize that you're still a good God. And don't let this happen, oh Lord, unless you come to your hands, oh God. And we love you, Lord. We praise you for who you are. We know that you're the mighty God. Oh God, we know that you're the holy God. We know that you're the righteous God. And Lord, we just ask that you give us the power to stand in these last days. And because, Lord, we need you. We need you each and every hour, Lord. Every minute, every second of the day, Lord, we need you, Lord. And we just ask you, Lord, to give us what we need, Lord, to run this race. Give us a heart full of joy. Give us a heart full of joy. Give us your peace, oh God. Give us the fullness of your Holy Ghost. And help us, oh Lord, to be what you would have us in these last days of days. Praise the Lord that you bless each and every service today, oh God. Bless the one that brings the bread of life, oh God. And we ask the Lord that you keep us in your care, oh God. Wrap your love in us, oh God. Cover us in, in your mighty good, oh God. Hide us, Lord, from seed and unclean things, oh God. And help us, oh God.
body of believers who you have chosen in this hour. So we thank you and give your name praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You may be seated. Amen. Thank you, Lord. He prayed that up because I love that that inspires me. Amen. We give honor to the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost and praise God for Bishop and Mother Morgan. Praise God for continue to say the same thing, there's no understanding. But as my grandmama used to say, you'll understand it better by and by. Amen. It's a foundation yes. with Bishop Baker. Yes. God purposed him to get up and write Father, Son, and Holy Ghost yes. Church. Yes. And he got up and he wrote it and it was spoken in him. Right? So because God is is God, it was in existence because he spoke it through uh, Bishop Baker. And no matter, he was not deterred by not seeing anyone for two years and nine months. Amen. It's a foundation that we're talking about this morning in this Sunday school lesson. We, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, and I know many don't understand, but God has peeled back the veil so he would allow some to see what is already what already is. Yeah. To encourage those who can't see to come on up yeah. because he said it, it is so. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Um, God is such a good God. Amen. Um, What is the, I'm going to ask the school, what is the subject of our lesson? And our Bible basis? And what is our Bible truth? Our memory verse? that we want to read in coming up to uh, the book of Ezra. So, um, amen. Uh, uh, what does it Will you um, get Jeremiah 25 and read verses 11 and 12? studying today that when God speaks a thing, it's in existence when he speaks it. Though we may not see it, right. it is in existence when he speaks it. In Genesis 1, he said, let there be, and it was. So everything that God speaks through the men of God, 
that he has purpose for a purpose, it's already done. So you, and that's one of the things we want to uh, explore today, that God has spoken into existence Congress. So it already is, it can't unbe. So we're understanding how God works and how he works through men and trying to uh, get us to follow the leader of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church, Bishop Morgan. He is a man, a God man, yeah. that, <clears throat> that God has purposed for this time. We can't put our hope in Bishop Morgan because that would hurt you to rely on him. He still have hands and feet and he gets sleepy. Yeah, right. So, but we need to honor him if we believe that all this we're reading, yeah. if we don't take, if we can't believe Jeremiah and Ezra, mm -hmm. we won't be able to understand what God is doing in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost now. Amen. So that is what God is getting us. We may be few in number in a sense, but if all of us who truly believe can walk after what God has purposed in Bishop Morgan, saying that I will do, I will be the hammer you need, I will be the uh, paintbrush that you need, and we don't ask any questions, it's like when God tells us to do something, we do it because it's for a purpose. So here we see in Jeremiah 25, God is saying to Jeremiah, he says, I'm nobody. Not, he didn't say I was nobody. He just said, I'm young, I'm a child. And the things you're asking me to do, I'm a child. But God didn't ask us for what we think our limitations are. We may say that Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, we're alert in a many ways, but we are knowledgeable yeah. in Christ Jesus. And that's far more excellent yeah. than being knowledge, knowledgeable in words and phrases. Because God can do a mighty thing. And if we get that in our hearts that he's trying to do mighty things through us, then we'll get on board and we won't be sluggish. Kathy, uh, uh, Sister uh, Kathy Bowie this morning came in praise and wanted us to praise, but we didn't feel what she was feeling. But it's not about a feeling. That's right. That is what he's trying to get us to see today. So he, he spoke to Jeremiah 70 years because the people had gotten to be, uh, they didn't need it. They thought they could do it on their own and they uh, all the things God said do, don't do, they did. So he said he's going to get them back. He's going to bring them back to him, but they're going to have to go through tribulation. 70 years will they be in captivity. He spoke it, so it had to be. Jeremiah 1 and 12. Jeremiah 1 and 12 verse. Then said the Lord unto me, You have well said, for I will hasten my word to perform it. Amen. 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 And I will thank you. Let's go to Isaiah 55. God is saying to Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, when I speak a thing, it's already in existence. Amen. Our leader, through uh, the guidance of God, said to us, it is time for the gifts that God has for the church be operational in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. So we as followers of Jesus Christ should be praying and saying to one another, this is what God said to us through the man of God. There is sickness among us. We can't heal. There is uh, so many that's tangled up in uh, spirit, 
spiritual uncleanness, uncleanliness. And so if the gifts are operational, which I believe when he spoke it, it already is. It has to be at his time and we can't push him. But I know that prayer gets to him. I know that faith gets to him. And even, you know, he spoke to uh, Israel through Jeremiah that in 70 years. Some old folks, they were young when they heard it, right? And they knew after the, during those 70 years, they could count it down because he had given them a specific time. He has not given us a specific time. But see, it could be today. And that's what I'm saying. When we come into the house, uh, it, we should look at it, at it as it could be today. Yeah. And, and I say this, and I pray that you uh, hear with um, spiritual ears that are not being insensitive. So yesterday, I was sitting in the pew. And I said to myself, is today, today, I'm talking to God, is today the day? Because when he said that these are the signs that should follow you, these are the things I want you to do on my behalf. He said, you will raise the dead. And so we can look at that dead in spirit, dead in chasing after him. But we know that he raised those from the dead. He rose Lazarus, the widow's son, you know, and even after he left, he, the man fell out of the window dead. So see, those are the things that happen. So he can do it again if he chooses to. But see, there's nothing that's off limits for our God. So if we, like, like what, if, if God performed a, like the people were chased, uh, Chasing after Jesus for, you know, bread and, you know, the fish. And they also wanted to see a miracle like uh, it was a circus show to some, I'm sure. Wondering what he's going to do today. But see, God doesn't want us to chase him and run after him for the things and stuff. Because he wants us to have eternal life. And we can't see eternal life. But when he says to us that the gates, there are 12 gates to the city. And there are one pearl. It's not like different pearls. It's just one whole pearl that he has made and made the gate. So all these things, do we know what heaven looks like? Do we know what goes on? Have we read the, the God, God told Bishop Morgan to tell us to read the Bible, to, to pray, to stay in service as much as possible. We can we get to true praise. And if we don't read to know, we'll be, I don't, I don't know what happens when you reach and see his face. But what if we don't know some simple things that we ought to know from the scripture? I don't know. But we ought to know there's 12 gates to the city. Because it's in the scripture. Okay, so in Isaiah, we're trying to get to the point for us to realize when God speaks a thing, it is done. So, and I, I know sometimes uh, Bishop Morgan will just talk to us, you know, on a Wednesday night, he'll just talk to us. And it's like revealed knowledge. And if you have a spiritual ear, you will hear him as God speaks stuff into existence. So if we, you know, if we like listen, so that's what the Sunday school is telling us today in a sense, how if we be uh, willing and obedient, we're going to eat the good of the land, that we will have a praise even when we don't see what we're hoping for, because we will see him face to face. Okay. So this is what he said about his word. So if, okay. Mm. God said, <laughs> oh, God, all the things that God has said through Bishop Morgan. He wasn't trying to get you to look at Bishop Morgan for the things that you need. 
he was giving you a glimpse of if what he said is true, he must be speaking on my behalf. Of all the things that he said, when he said to uh, a wife, uh, stay there. Don't leave your husband. God would have me to tell you this. That, he said God would have him, yeah. you, uh, me tell you this. And we don't tell enough testimony. Oh God, I can tell you what I went I went to the man of God because not that he was a man, but that he could get to God. Yeah. Um, since he's our leader, yeah. I can get to God, yeah. but he's our leader. And I was in a place where I said, I need to have clarity of thought. Yeah. So I went to the man of God and I said, man of God, this is the situation. He said, well, let me, he said, he, he's going to pray about it. Then before he could say that, God had given him a word. And, it, uh, and, and the word was, leave it alone, don't do nothing. Wow. Wow. Okay. I did like the man of God said to do, because I'm saying God, because in your mind, oh God, you would think, do nothing. This situation is critical. Something got to happen. <laughs> but I said, I went to him. He said, don't do anything. And I said, I'm going to follow what God has said through the man of God. And then it just, it didn't like disappear. But I, God just gave spiritual amnesia. It didn't come up. And so that's what God is trying to get us to do, as Bishop says to us about Congress. Um, if we could just, you know, like listen and just, even though if you don't understand, say, I'm going to do what the man of God and everything, he's not going to tell you, okay, stay with him and God didn't give him anything. Or leave and God didn't give him anything. Or do this or do that. Because he has to uh, uh, answer to God for, for this ministry. Amen. Oh, Father, help me. It was a time. Oh, God. It was a time, and I'm not and I, I, I believe I am at liberty to say. For the enemy came against Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church through men. And they wanted to make our leader uh, look like he didn't know what he was doing. I'm new and I'm looking. So they conspired together to bring down the ministers. And they left thinking that they would bring down the ministry. And then God just started sending folk. Yeah. And you know, and then Bishop was then at liberty to preach the word. Amen. He was at liberty before, but always to critics. And God moved it out of the way. I'm saying, let's follow what Bishop Morgan is telling us to do. Amen. So here, this is what God is saying. Okay, he's up. Isaiah 55. If you have any questions, please, while I'm talking, this is one of the most critical um, Sunday school lessons um, that we will ever have. If we can get a spiritual ear, to hear what God is saying to these few folk this morning. Yes, yes. Gideon was just a few. He just said, I'm nothing. My family's nothing. I'm nothing. I can't do this. Make this wet. Make this dry. <laughs> <laughs> but God allowed him to know. I took, Did you hear what God, what God said to Bishop Morgan? Bishop Morgan had prayed. Oh, God. God, give us spiritual ear. He said God told him he had heard his prayer. So I don't know all that Bishop Morgan prayed about or what it was in response to. But it's, he said, I have heard your prayer. It's already done. Amen. Amen. So Isaiah 55, I know.
know we're in Ezra. We take it time. That's all right. Sure. But chapter 55 of Isaiah, starting at verse 8, it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Have a spiritual ear, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church. So he said he's going to give us a comparison so we can kind of understand when he speaks of things. So he says in verse 10, look at the rain, how it comes down. It has a purpose. Uh, it returneth not thither, but waters the earth. The purpose of rain and snow, when it comes down, it wets the earth, it um, waters the earth. And then because of that watering, uh, it brings forth, uh, making it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. The rain has a purpose. So he says, just like the rain has a purpose, he says, so shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. So you know that God doesn't speak to us from the heavens that we can hear him. So how does he speak to us? Anybody? Well, leader. He speaks to us through his chosen vessel. So that's him speaking. Am I wrong? So if, I'm, if you're agreeing to me that he speaks through his chosen vessel, so when the man of God say to us thus and thus, why do we give opposition? Why we don't move hurriedly if we're saying that's the word of God spoken by God through a man. Why don't we move hurriedly as if God is speaking to us? He says, it shall not return unto me void. Meaning, I've spoken a thing. Congress has been spoken. He said, it's not going to return to me void. I don't know what all it is. It is it involves. But we have been in a drought for two, two years or let's see, two years where we have not been able to gather in Congress together. It's a memorial. It's a celebration. And we don't worship the day. But when God speaks something to in existence, I get excited. I'm listening to what God says to every man and woman of God. I'm listening, and I want to be obedient. If I don't understand, I ask God. So he says, it's not going to return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it shall prosper in the things whereunto I sent it. If he speaks a thing, if he speaks healing, if he speaks it, it's going to be accomplished. If, it, if he says, no more drought for you, so it may rain on your property, and you look across the road, and there is no rain. Have y'all seen that? He can do it. Who can make it rain? Nobody but God. So he said, I am all powerful. Will you listen to me today? That things aren't as they were once. That we have to be about our fathers. Who's going to do it? Who's going to preach? Who's going to come against uh, the teaching of homosexuality? Who's going to do it if we don't do it? And he's purposed us to do it. Even if we be ostracized. Even if nobody uh, uh, comes and asks us to be on a program. We're not about program. 
God will allow us to speak on the street or in the yes. cafe or wherever. Yes. People will call you out of the blue and say, how do you even know about calling me? Amen. This is what our God is doing. Okay, so let's go back to, uh, let's see. Okay, one more. Uh, Ezra. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, hey, God. Um, so, oh, I didn't write down the verse. I'm sorry. It's hey, God. Give me just for a second. He was talking about the sealed houses. Um, I am so sorry. I didn't write down the verse or the chapter. So let me, okay, this may help me. Let me just go back to Ezra. And then I'll come back to, we'll come back to Haggai. Chapter 1, verse 1. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. The Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all the kingdom and put it, in, it also in writing. So Ezra chapter 1 tells us that God moved the word uh, that God moved on King Cyrus. And he did it such that his word would come to pass. He said the word that Jer that's what he said, that the word of the Lord might by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled. What was that word? He told him what was going to happen. 70 years, you're going to be in captivity. And then, after those 70 years, he was going to punish Babylon. Yeah. That's what he said. Okay, so let's go, let's go to Ezra 3 real quick. Then. Is it Haggai 1 and 4? Oh, okay. Yes. Thank you. We'll, we'll get there. Let me, let me do this part first. So then we'll go to uh, Haggai 1 and, and 4. So we're talking about praise, and hopefully we'll get to that point today. And we'll read this, I say, quickly. So Ezra 3 and 1, it says, And when the seventh month was come, and the children of Israel were in the cities, the people gathered themselves together as one man to Jerusalem, for they were scattered. You know, they were released from prison, so to speak, from captivity. And that's what um, Haggai 1 is going to sell us. You know, they were, you know, uh, they wanted to get their stuff together. They wanted to build their houses, find their stuff, and all of that, and uh, not uh, 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 get back to the things of God. So he says, then stood up Jeshua, the son of uh, Jodah's, Josadak and his brethren the priests and Jerubbabel the son of Shetiel and his brethren and built the altar of the Lord of Israel to offer burnt offerings thereof and as, as it is written in the law of Moses the man of God. There were ways that they were supposed to present themselves. The ways they were supposed to live. And they set up the altar uh, upon his basis for fear was upon them because of the people of those countries and they offered burnt offerings there on unto the Lord, even burnt offerings morning and evening. We don't have to 
have rams and bullocks anymore. Christ is the sacrificial lamb. We don't have to have an altar where we burn incense and burn, um, you know, the, the, the flesh of, of animals. Jesus did that. So no longer do we have to have animal sacrifices. So he says in verse 4, they kept also the Feast of Tabernacles, as it is written and offered the daily burnt offerings by number, according to the custom as the duty of every day required. And when I was reading this, I thought, oh, we don't have to do all those sacrifices anymore. But he does have us to do memorials. You know, he tells us to remember. You know, like, we have Easter. Uh, and so it's like, that's something that man did to remember that Christ rose from the dead. And so we just have, what, I mean, we say memorial things that just happen. We, you know, say, okay, this is what was, and this is how uh, we remember it. And so the Bible will tell those, don't stop remembering what I did. And so that's what they were doing in this feast, that they were uh, having a memorial. Hmm. And and our Congress is coming up in the season of uh, the Feast of Tabernacles, but that does, that's just something that was uh, good for, I enjoy reading that. But anyway, verse five, and afterwards, and afterwards offered the continual burnt offering, both of the new moon and all the set feasts of the Lord that were consecrated, and of everyone that willingly offered a free will offering unto the Lord. So when it says they were consecrated, what does that mean? So how can, you know, it's like, if we've like been in the, just the hustle bustle of working and people across the cubicle and all that conversation, all that, um, you know, stuff, kind of like um, Lot, the Bible said he was a righteous man, but he was tormented day and night by the wickedness of uh, the people he came in contact with. So when we, you know, we have to put up, that's why it, uh, God has said to Bishop, we got to pray. We got to get all that residue from dealing with the world, you know, through work and stuff. We got to just get all of that off of us and consecrate ourselves. And today, you know, uh, in remembrance, you know, we, this is like a memorial. It's a remembrance that his blood we no longer have to have. <laughs> like I say, uh, sacrifices of animals. Uh, from the first, okay, okay, from the first day of the seventh month again, they to offer burnt offerings unto the Lord, but the foundation of the temple of the Lord was not yet laid. They gave money also unto the masons and to the carpenters and meat and drink and oil unto them of Zion and to them of Tyre to bring cedar trees from Lebanon to the sea of Joppa according to the grant they had that they had of Cyrus, king of Persia. Like, why did they do all of this? And the Sunday school lesson just kind of stops at verse 7, but the uh, the chapter goes on to talk about what they did. Okay, let's go back to Ezra chapter 1, mm. verse This is starting at verse 10. They have been in captivity, and we've been in a drought. I say a drought. It's not a drought. We couldn't come because of the pandemic. So we couldn't come together and for Congress because of the pandemic. And now God has opened the door for us to do it again. So when the people were scattered and came with one mind, they were on one accord after it had been presented to them that this is what we need to do. We need to rebuild the, the altar. And so he, in verse uh, 10, and when the builders laid the foundation of the temple of the Lord, they set the priests in their apparel with trumpets and the Levites, the sons of Asaph, 
was symbols to praise the Lord after the ordinance of David, king of Israel. And so, like, when we come into, and I know, so, um, whatever our praise is, you know, we're not going to praise each other uh, like each other. But whatever, whatever our praise to God is, then that's the praise we ought to give him. When we come into uh, oneness with one another in the, in the, uh, here in the congregation, and they sang together by course in praising and giving thanks unto the Lord because he is good for his mercy endureth forever toward Israel. And all the people shouted with a great shout when they praised the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid. All of us should get excited every time we come because I, the man of God, God has said, these are the things that he's going to do. So it could happen for me today. You know, I've heard, um, and these are other testimonies, how limbs grew back. I don't know whether that's true. I mean, I, I didn't see it. I just heard the testimony. And then our bishop continues to tell us that, okay, if you don't have limbs and they grow back, that's good. But better than that, if you don't have the Holy Ghost and get the Holy yeah. Ghost, that's better than having yeah. limbs. Amen. But because, see, if his word is going out, see, that's what he's saying. If he says, I'm going to do this, it can't be under uh, unstopped. It can't be stopped. That's right. Whatever he says. Yeah. So all the things I would just encourage us. Um, whatever the man of God, and I'm not lifting him up as a man. I yeah. I read the scripture. Yeah. I saw what he said through Jeremiah, and it came to pass. I saw what he said through Moses, and it came to pass. And all the experiences that I have had with Bishop Morgan and what he said directly to me and those things came to pass. So what am I supposed to think? And you can say in your own testimony what Bishop Morgan told you and it came to pass. I know we don't have time for everybody, but if God had used Bishop Morgan and told you something, you did it and it came to pass. Let me just see your hand. Wow. That's not the Bishop Morgan. That's God. That is God. God. So if he told you that, whatever you raise your hand on. And now he's saying, let's prepare for Congress. And I believe we have because of what he has said about us giving. Like these people, they brought gold and silver. I believe then that yes, we've we've been giving. But can we start praying? Can we start praying for souls to be saved? Yeah, That's yeah. the most. Come in off the street. He, he said that God told him he had heard his prayer. And that is for, I know one of the things is for the people to come out of, you know, come out of the streets in a sense that, you know, like come out of the world's way. Yeah. And then say, I, you know, I can, I am somebody. So, amen. So we're going to stop right there. And give y'all opportunity. Uh, and I'm not going to guide. Whatever God lays on your heart. And you want to you know, speak to the congregation. Either through a testimony. Bishop said this. And said that would be good. If you could say Bishop told me this. Because there's so many that probably in their hearts want to say. Well Bishop told me to raise my window. Let fresh air in. And I did that and my allergies were gone. I'm just saying. Yeah. The things that God told him to tell you, and it came to pass, and that would just build up faith for others. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna uh, give this space then over to over to that. Amen. Let's give that praise.
God that nobody has to tell I know in the happiness of his name. Amen.
to change anything. As being a wife, you can be an encouragement to your husband. As being a father, you can be an encouragement to your children. That's great ministry. Yes. When a father can teach his children how to live holy. So um, thank y'all for being uh, who you are at Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And encourage us to pray you one for another. Amen. Amen. stop doing it. That's right. And God said, I want you to do it again. Yes. And if we was done it then and stopped doing it, that means we tried to do it without God. Amen. And anytime God start a work in us, start a ministry in us, start a word in us, and we get to where we no longer rely on God, to manifest that through us, then it cannot be fulfilled. And I would be the first to say, since 1979, filled with the Holy Ghost, called to do God good pleasure, there's been some time I thought, my thought was better than God thought. But the Holy Ghost reminded me in the scripture you were saying, you had a good thought. Not that my thought was sinful. All of our done, endeavor to do, desire to do, don't have to be sinful 
But if it's not God way, and we don't yield to do it God way, then it becomes sinful. That's right. Because our ways is not God way when he telling you to do it. Well, come on now. When we were children, we tried to do something. And many times we would chastise by our parents because you didn't do what I told you to do. That's right. Sometimes I have to stop and make it plain. That's right. Sometimes we got uh, the opportunity to go outside and pick our own switch. <laughs> Sometimes mom would pick up an extension cord. Because we didn't do what they told us to do. And this is what God now, he's picking up a switch that he's turning into a sword of the word. Yeah. And it's cutting right and left. The word is cutting us, not just over yonder us. Because it's trying to cut us back into restoration. That we do what God said do. And you know, when we was done what God said do, I heard the testimony, we was in tune with God. Yeah. Walking in obedience to God. And we close with this. God don't just speak a word to the leader. He speaks to all of us, expecting us to do what he said do. That's right. He speaks to preachers. He speaks to pastors. He speaks to the saints. He's crying unto sinners. Repent. Amen. And it only work and accomplish what God said do when we are obedient. That's right. Yes. And I have to take it just a step further. Read, pray. Stay among the saints as much as possible, but obey. Yeah. If we don't obey God, and Ezra had a problem different than Jeremiah's daughter and Hezekiah. Jeremiah had a sweet walk with the Lord and ministered to the peoples to the glory of God and Jeremiah had a problem when he said I will speak no more in the Lord's name it wasn't because he didn't love God it was because of the rebellion of the peoples That's right. That's right. That's right. they had stopped doing what daughter just said God honor sacrifice back then Amen. he honored tabernacle praise. He honored bullocks yeah. and offered God. Oh, that was his way then. Yeah. But the people stopped doing it. And God stopped moving. And God raised up Jeremiah to tell them. But they didn't want to hear. And Jeremiah walked away. Can you imagine? Ministers and pastors, including me, We'll walk away from a, it doesn't matter if it's just one person, it's too many to walk in disobedience. That's right. But can you imagine? The enemy discouraged me. I walk away, so I ain't having nothing else to do. Not with God, with them people. They won't hear, they won't repent, they won't turn. I'm tired. And God said, Don't even be afraid of their faces. Talk to Jeremiah. And Jeremiah said, it's like fire. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's hard to stir y'all up. Because we need to be restored. Glory be to God. If you sit and you hear and reminded about the goodness of God, it'll stir you up. Yes, it If you got an uncurable disease and you hear about he's a healer, it'll stir you up. It's like fire. Yes. Shut up in my bunk. Right. Glory be yes, And Jeremiah went to Hezekiah, didn't he? Was it Jeremiah went to Hezekiah? Isaiah. Isaiah, thank you. Went to Hezekiah. It was easy for Jeremiah to go to Hezekiah and tell him, get your house in order. You 
shall die. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't get the house in order if we was told by a man of God, right. you're going to die. Right. And Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Isaiah didn't go to a backsliding preacher. That's a guy who was a man of God. That's a guy who was a praying man. That's a guy who got letters and reminded him he went to the temple and laid down prostate in the temple. Won whatever was on that letter. Then yeah. here come Isaiah. It ought to be easy for God people to receive from God preaching. That's right. It ought to be easy for God people to receive from God prophet. Yeah. He went to Hezekiah. And Hezekiah didn't struggle with, I know this ain't the text, but you stirred me up. It blesses me when we start obeying the Bible. Yeah. If you don't want to do it, that's fine, but the Bible did say, honor your leader. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yes it does. Amen. Amen. If I was sitting out there where you at, and you standing here where I'm at, and you was not a man of God, and hearing from God, and a pastor from God for me, I'd go find me one. I wouldn't sit under somebody I wouldn't believe in. And you saying you of God and God in you and God in me and you don't believe no more, it ain't personal with me and with God. That's right. And you wonder why I'm not getting what God said I'm supposed to have. Check your heart. That's right. Check your life. Yeah. Let me hear Glory be. Isaiah went to the man of God and he said he didn't go no deep there he was on the mount he said God said get your house in order yeah. we don't need them pray folk that I've been with God all day to tell you what God said he'll speak right now to somebody he can speak to one of the preachers that well, as soon as I get ready to, they will even say Bishop, the Lord has spoken to me to give the people the word. And I'm supposed to give away and let that word come forth. That's right. Not no foolishness, That's no junk. Right. That's right, Bishop. That's all right. Glory be to There's always a word from the Lord. Yes, it is. Amen. God did anoint yes, Andrew. And Andrew was said, Bishop, the Lord has anointed me to play a musical note. I give over and he play that musical note under the anointing of the Holy Ghost what God said play. It'll drive out unclean spirits. Yeah. If they did it back then, it'll happen now. Why? Wow. The same God back then is the same God now. Why is it not being performed? It ain't a shortening and a weakness in God. It is something about me and us. They won't let God move oh, yeah. like yeah. he won't move. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And you, me, you can't have what God say you can have if you don't want it. Glory It ain't like an egg and a chicken. And that time of that egg and the chicken that come out, it's coming out. Yeah. I'm not being ugly. It ain't like a woman that travail and carrying a child, whether you want to or not. When it's time for that child to be born, it's coming. Yeah, yeah. And today, Prophet Anna, you've spoken. It's time for joyful worship to be restored yeah, in the church. Yeah. Not in the building it up. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to do it, but it's time. Yeah. It may happen in a day, it may happen in a week, it may happen in a month, yeah. but it will and shall be restored. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to run out of everything else yeah. that you got. Yeah. You're going to run out of your money. Yeah. You're going to run out of your health. Yeah. You're going to run out of your ability. You're going to run out. Yeah. But with God, he supplies. Oh, my God. 
know she said. You read it? That they gave money. They gave silver. They gave gold. To build a natural house. Glory be to God. The will restore the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He will restore. Joy. He will restore the obedience. He will restore. When we want what God wants us to have, when He wants us to have it, you forget about everything else. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Gotta be more Thank you. than going through a ritual yeah. of performance. She said. Thank you, Lord. Get your house in order. You shall die. Now, I don't know how long he had been sick under death. Come on now. He was sick long before Isaiah came to him. Glory be to God. But just because you sick, you ought not to stop doing what God said do. That's right. Just because you sick in your body, you still ought to pray. Because you sick in your body with whatever ailment, you still ought to give him glory. It need to be restored. you burden down. The devil is a liar. Glory be to God. Nobody can burden you down if you really want to praise him. And he said, you're going to 
Shirley Bell, his pastor. And I wasn't there, but wonder what would have happened between the word, get your house in order, and you gonna shoot it down. I know they didn't have automobiles and airplanes and all that stuff, but from the time he told him, get your house in order, you're going to shoot it down. He received a man of God because he was a man of God. And he knew it was God's word. You ought to know those that are men and women of God and remain fruitful to God, they can't lie. They won't lie. Oh, now, if you ain't trusting those that God live in and fruitful like God said fruitful, something wrong. Either we lie or you won't receive it. That's right. So, because if we're right with God, yes. and every word He tells us to speak, yes. it will come to pass. Yes. So, I, I got to quit. And so, he, he said, Y'all give me another minute or so. Yeah, I see God. I see God. I see God. I see, I see God. I really do. I see the spirit realm through your expression. Some of you are thinking about repenting. But you're going to struggle with it because you won't do it too quick. Some of you are some of you thinking about it right now that I need to get up and say I'm sorry for what I did. But you're thinking about it. You're distracting and you put it off. didn't spend time trying to push him down and lay hand and convince him. He said, you're going to shoot him down. Yeah. He went on out the house. Wow. Went on back to this where he come from. Glory be to God. He turned his face to the wall. Yeah. Oh, what he simply said, God, I've got to trust you even the more. Wow. And he prayed. Yeah. Glory be to God. God heard his prayer. God to hear your prayer and be praying. Yeah. 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 We don't walk up and just touch me. I, Isaiah, Isaiah. Say, go back and tell him. Oh. Say, say, say what? Oh, say. go back and tell him I'm going to give him 15 more years. Yeah. Yeah. Come on back. Yeah. Told the man of God yeah. that was going to die. Yeah. Didn't fight the prophet that brought him a God word.
fine and did a pretty job trying to tell you, you got to read it, you got to pray, you got to seek the scripture and seek the Lord. Ezra was having a tough time in the midst of people that God wants you to praise and worship him in a joyful way. Glory. Not worship him for stuff and things, that's all right. Because you don't have to wash him for stuff and things, silver and gold, if you seek ye first. Yeah. If you seek ye first, the kingdom of God. Wait a minute, whoa, 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 you clap. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink. It's not stuff that please your flesh. It's joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. That's when you lose or don't have the real joyfulness to worship God is when you no longer have or ain't got the Holy Ghost. You cannot get the Holy Ghost in Jesus Christ filled with the Holy Ghost and not worship Him. Now praise Him. Hallelujah. God said to me to say this again. If you got the Holy Ghost, keep it quick. If you don't have it, get it quick. You need to repent, repent quick. Same God spoke it then, is speaking it now. Do it quick. Trying to be impressive. Glory to you. I ain't even trying to be holy. I'm holy because I am holy. He sanctified me. Fill me with the holy. I didn't do nothing to get it. But ask for it. It's now you. You ain't got to spin around six times and all that stuff. It's near you, even in your mouth. All you got to do is say, Lord, fill me. Say, but the Bible say, joyful is an expression yes. of happiness. Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, unhappy people yes, saying, Lord. the Lord is the head of my life. Yes. But they're unhappy. Yes. Glory. All right. yes, Lord. Got four and five automobiles. Thank you, Jesus. Money, but unhappy. I have. That's right, Jesus. You know, some of us barely can make mortgage payment, barely can. Go out to dinner, but we have it. Yeah. 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 Ezra, Ezra said, Ezra, continue. This is an attack. This is what we have done. In the midst of everything is, we are continuing to provide priestly, spiritual ministry to you. Yes. Hallelujah. Concerning building the second church. That's what Ezra was yes. And when God then and now when it looked impossible to build it's not much now compared to what people are building but we weren't looking at trying to outdo nobody. That's right. We weren't even looking at that we, we God would allow us to build a sanctuary and land and property uh, with access now of a million dollars in today's market. Yeah. Glory be to God. Yes, Lord. But build a half a 
million dollar church in three years, didn't know how it was going to do it, didn't know how it, but God did it. Yeah, God did. Yeah. 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 Amen. I'm not old around the future, but I, if I don't oh, obey God. God and explain this, this day, yeah. then some of us may not get what you were teaching us, Jeez. how we ought to obey. Yeah. And it was impossible. We ought to have about less than 100 people in 1996 when God built this natural house. Yes, but God told me then, and we're encouraging it now, over 96 to how long? 2023. Come on, Scott. 27, 27, 27, 27 years ago. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. He said, build two churches. Build a natural church and a spiritual church. A natural church where my people will worship and come and fellowship in, and a spiritual church that even a natural church will be done away with. Right. That's right. Amen. So it was easy for God to supply the natural church because he had people that weren't saved brought along. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, people that didn't have the Holy Ghost drew the blueprint. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people that didn't have the Holy Ghost smoked and drank. And I had to come up every day laying the foundation and rebuke unclean spirit because they was cussing, playing music. I said, those unclean spirits won't stay here. Yeah. Amen. 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 I had to rebuke while the whole temple was going up because they were being built by ungodly people. Yeah. You don't have to have the Holy Ghost to have a contractor license. That's right. You don't have to have a, 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 the Holy Ghost that God will cause the money to buy material. That's right. But anyway, um, and he built it. Then he said, I'm not bragging. Where would a half a million dollars come from with less than 100 people? And very few was making in this house of prayer eight and nine or a hundred thousand dollars a year. If you was making, you never told me. Right. <laughs> Glory. Amen. Now you want to get rich quick and you want everybody to know. <laughs> Glory. So I'm not being ugly. Yeah, true. And then God had the audacity. And I said, Coming in, God said, Tell my people it will be paid off in three years. Yeah. I didn't struggle with it because I know his voice. That's right. I know when he speaks. Yeah. And I know when God speaks, he don't speak something that's possible. Yeah. He's speaking that is impossible to man. Yeah. Speaking what men would say, we can't do that. But I didn't say God said we can do that. God said He'll do that. Yeah. Yeah. And three years to the day, we stood right here and burned the mortgage yeah. in full. Yeah. What if we had? $2,600 mortgage done COVID. Yeah. What if we had a three, $400 light beer that never stopped mm -hmm. done COVID? Mm -hmm. What if we had a budget that we couldn't continue to bless people that were blessing before the pandemic? What we would have done had it not been God? The doors of the house would have been closed. Y'all hear me? Glory be to God. We're in this stage now where we got to build the second church. But here's the problem. <coughs> to the guests on Facebook, I can call her baby because she's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> 
Somebody come along and say, You still tell me, you still sick. God ain't gonna hear you. You can't buy into that. Hallelujah. I don't care what it looks like. If God says, He will perform it. And if some of us take our hand and mouth off and say, The thing. Building this second church, Jesus. which ought to be Thank easier. Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory be to Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Glory. Mm. Struggling building this second church, the church of Jesus Christ. Church is not on church is there. The Bible said we are the church. Yes. We are the church. Glory. This is the church he's coming back after. Yes. This is the church with the Spirit of God in it, yes. a soul that's Thank sinless. You going to be raptured up and put into a glorified body. Yeah. This is the church. Every time God build a church up a little bit, here comes Satan. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to die. Mm -hmm. He's been saying that to some of us for 30 years. You're going to die. And we're still here. Hallelujah. So let us be restored back to that place that wealth, prosperity will not stop us from worship and praising God. Let us be restored, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When we had wealth and blessing, we still walked in obedience. But his people's that are being operated in flesh is hindering yeah, the yeah. spiritual church. Glory be to God. I pray that every one of us will rise up today and do it quick and get back in that place. If you never tell me, if you never have to say anything for the congregation, I'll know whether you got it, keeping it right with God by your fruit. Yeah, amen. 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 By your fruit, yes. we will know where you stand in relationship with God. Yes. You can't be happy with God and mad with somebody else. That's right. Glory be to God. Amen. You can't say, I got the love of God and love this view and hate that view. That's right. Amen. Come on now. We're trying to build a second church, which is a spiritual church. Glory be to God. Somebody may come in. Come in. Come in, um, Tammy. This is my biological daughter. She may come in, right? She may come in. And God raise her. Oh, she may have some faults in her. May have may need some deliverance. In her. But yeah. God bringing her to help the church Ooh, be yeah. the right. She's going to forgive and clean her up. Yeah. And she's going to become the church. And when she was bound in, she see somebody else. Say, say you see the same thing in, 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 in Moses. The same thing God delivered you from. He called you to church, be the church, you have to be a church with the government of the Lord. And you see some of it, what God done delivered you from. And God said, go tell us she can be the way. You want to get on over there. Yeah. yeah. You ain't going to be talking about. I ain't no missionary. Yes, right. You are his witness. Yes, and a witness is to testify and talk about of our death where God delivered me from. Yes, Lord. Some of you are like me now. Right. I got the clothes on this mother Johnson. Glory be to you. You ought to 
You ought to recognize a disobedient person. God said, go tell them to walk in obedience. You're supposed to get right on over there. You ain't supposed to, you ain't supposed to wait for a time. Get, somebody here, God said, uh-uh, go to that That's person. Right. That's all right. That's all right. We ain't there yet. But we're being restored. Yeah. Oh, my God. On our founding bishop, mothers and preachers back then, my God, they didn't say somebody. They said, you need to repent. That's right. And when Bishop Baker had to talk to the whole church, glory be to God. He didn't talk to everybody in the house of prayer. He spoke to the church. Yeah. He said, the whole church. It might not have been but 10 at the church. Yeah. He said, the whole church need to repent. That's right. Lord, I'm saying it again. By the word and the mouth of our bishop. Even if you don't feel weak, you still part of church. Yeah. That's right. yeah. If you need to repent, yeah. get up and do it. Yeah. Well, Congress, glory be to God. Yeah. Some of you can begin now. The same God, we want to be ready. Mm -hmm. There's people already been informed coming from Canada this year. To father, son, they ain't coming to see how pretty we are. That's right. They done heard about God and moving. Yeah. Yeah. They done heard about people love God. Yeah. They're not coming to shop. They're coming to be with the people yeah. of God. Yeah. 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 Why shouldn't they shop? You shop. That's right. Why you want to condemn right. folks that come in, bless this city with tax dollars, right. help pay roads? Yes, yeah. That ain't what they're coming for. Glory. Yeah. They done heard about us. Yeah. We believe in healing. Yeah. Yeah. They done heard about us. Yeah. We believe in God and they can yeah. They're coming from Canada this year. They're coming from Africa. Some getting ready to try to come from Portland. Yeah. Glory. They done heard about us, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Let's God. be ready. Yeah. Heard about our praise. Yeah. They don't heard about Daddy Bishop. Yeah. They don't heard about Pastor Morgan. My God. Let's be in a spirit. When they come, they will know without a shadow of doubt. God is real in this place. Yeah. All right, let us stand. Do not apologize. And I know God has used me to speak. And I thank you, Prophet Ann, for adhering to the first and second bell. Thank you, Deacon Thomas, for ringing the first and second bell. How dare any of us judge your pastor that time he stayed up. That's right. Y'all hear me? Glory be to God. How dare any of us get confused about your pastor? That's right. All right. Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. Will you give us the next few minutes how to worship you in spirit and in truth? Thank you for the teaching of the Sunday school lesson. Thank you for the words of encouragement to your people. We desire you more than anything else. We have what you have. And we can receive what you want to give us in Jesus' name. We thank God and amen. God bless you. If you would do this and refresh yourself, don't worry about how.